Yes, we need that sunshine. Thanks so much, Pat. Arkansas set a new record in the daily increases of COVID-19 cases. The state recorded almost 2,800 new cases. 33 more people died. Hospitalizations dropped by 16, and that brings the total to just more than 1,000. But three counties saw more than 200 new cases. We're going to break it down for you. Washington, Benton, and Pulaski counties. That's a first for the state. So Washington County had the most at 267. Benton County followed with 257. Pulaski County had 223. Now, because of the rising number of COVID-19 cases, Governor Asa Hutchinson announced Arkansas will adopt the CDC's new guidelines on coronavirus quarantine timelines. Now, the guidelines say people can end quarantine after 10 days without a test and no symptoms. The second option is that quarantine can be discontinued after seven days with a test, either PCR antigen and no symptoms. They will be a little stricter, requiring testing before removing the quarantine. Um, and that is because in those centers, um, the spread uh, can occur quickly and uh, can have, in particular in nursing homes, devastating effects as we've talked about in the past. The governor also said the state requested from FEMA to use 10 hospital beds at the VA hospital in Little Rock to help treat COVID-19 patients. This is going to cost nearly $2 million for 30 days. The state would be responsible for about $500,000 of that. Now, there is concern about the governor's decision to adopt those CDC guidelines. One doctor isn't sure if Arkansans should follow it, given the amount of COVID-19 cases in the state right now. She says it all just depends on the mindset of Arkansans. If we have more people actually quarantining because it's something they can do, then it might help drive our numbers down. You know, it's just, it's an unknown. Yeah, so Dr. Marty Sharkey, she also says when it comes to school, this shortened recommendation may help with attendance. Increasing the risk of COVID-19 is a possible trade-off. A 14th Arkansas lawmaker tested positive for the coronavirus. Republican Senator Ron Caldwell says he tested positive for the virus last week. He's been at home isolating. His wife has also tested positive for COVID and is in the hospital. Caldwell represents District 23, which covers the Wynn area.